to the 2nd of February. I don't need to check because I know. People, let's start off with the hair. Ah. Oh. I came in from the gym because I was all sweaty. The greys were really showing through. So I ran up, says, grabbed my spray, sprayed my hair and ended up putting the really dark one. Gonna say, look, so that's my hair, that's my roots. So then I went, oh, so grabbed the lighter one, tried to spray that, but of course the lighter one's not gonna cover up the grey one, is it? Come on, people, what have I done? Might get a wet one and just wipe it a bit or something that's what i'm gonna do get a wet one and do that i don't know if i should be put i'm gonna get a flannel and do it with some water and hopefully it uh, wipes away anyway i was setting up to do some bread and then realized that i didn't have any um flour whole 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 flour whole meal what's it called whole meal whole meal flour i don't know and so because i bought seeds yesterday because i want to put some seeds in my flour and i want to make it now so it rises by the time i come back because we could cook on a thursday night and so i want to get it all done before he comes i was getting everything ready i went to get my flour didn't, didn't have any wholemeal flour anyway so i'm going to dash down to aldi's and pick up some wholemeal flour i didn't show you though because i went to aldi's to pick up stuff did i tell you that last night i can't remember don't even know if it's going to be on the same vlog people who knows that's why I never say goodbye on my vlogs. I rarely say goodbye because I never know where the vlog's going to actually end. So, anyway, so I've got these seeds. So, these are four seed mix, 100% natural ingredients. All it's got in it is pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, golden linseed, hemp seeds. And I'm going to put them through my bread. I also picked up some cashew nuts and some almonds just because I don't have enough. I need to make my chocolate treats because I've only got one left so also took out a bit of shushuko now what is shushuko I keep mentioning shushuko assuming that everybody knows what shushuko is I found a recipe in my very famous Greek book here we go this is shushuko here is mine I've just taken it out the freezer because it's lovely as a wee treat and this is what it is threaded almonds dipped into must jelly what is must jelly must is Everything that comes from fruit, more often than not grapes, all the skin, everything, and it's all mashed up. And look, that's the ingredients. That's the method, just in case you're interested. And it turns out like that. My gran used to make these all the time. Now my auntie sends me them. So that's that. Right, I need to dash off to Aldi's and pick up some wholemeal bread. First I'm gonna try and wipe some of this off. <laughs> Oh my god, what an idiot. Um, that's if they've got some because yesterday they didn't have... Well, I'm making my hair all wet now. Yesterday, but it's looking better, isn't it? Yesterday they didn't have... Um, oh my god, what am I doing? Yesterday they didn't have any eggs, organic eggs. You know how I like my organic things. So, anyway, that will do doesn't look doesn't look so bad here does it right let's go and get some wholemeal bread rush 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 because before i know it it's going to be time to pick up georgie right let's go okay we are on our way to aldi says go 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 so we need to focus when we go to aldi that we only get wholemeal flour that's all we need wholemeal flour go in get the whole milk flour hopefully i get it all mixed up and then by that time it's probably going to be time to leave for the gym again honestly right no dithering in aldi okay we are on our way to sainsbury's because aldi doesn't have any whole milk bread i think i said that i think if they've got any and last night when i went in for organic eggs they didn't have any and today that they had not too many but they had a few <gasps> So I'm going to go to Sainsbury's now, see if I can get a wholemeal bread. But whilst I was in Aldi's, I met somebody that I knew from my old gym. And it was really nice because you know what she said to me? She said, you know, the gym's never been the same without you. Ah! Is that not a lovely thing to say? It was obviously somebody that liked me. <laughs> I'm sure there was a lot of people that were glad to see the back of me but I thought what a lovely thing to say 
so yeah I just thought I'd share that with you share the love people share the love um, so yeah <laughs> it could mean anything though that couldn't it Jim's ever been the same without you that, that, that could mean many things right let's hope we can get what time is it I don't think I'm gonna have time to mix this bread and um, get it done before I go. I'm hungry as well. I don't know if my fast. I forgot the phone. Yet. I don't know if my fast has. Um, ended. I've not had an alert. I don't think it has. I think it was due to end just before. I think it was due to end about five to twelve today. So I wouldn't eat at that time because my sweat class is at half twelve and half an hour is not enough for me. I don't want all of that porridge jiggling about and I don't want to rush it. I want to sit and enjoy it. I even boiled that water to make a bain marie and now it's probably going to cool down but it'll be a perfect temperature to make the bread because you need lukewarm water to make your bread. And I'm just talking a whole load of nonsense as per usual. Oh, come on red lights. I used to say to Georgie when we would be at the red lights, tell the red lights to change and they would change and I would roughly, I would judge um, when they would change from the crossings and I would say to and I would say to her to say in Greek, like hurry up in Greek, like hadi. I would say to her, she used to think she had this power of changing the lights. It's all about believing them at a young age to believe that they can do anything. People, the day is getting more and more crazy. Honestly, I got a call just as I arrived. I've got the flour, by the way, three pounds. By the way, I don't know how much it is supposed to be, but it's three pounds. Like, this is like the proper, proper one, three pounds. Never even checked the date on this. Anyway, um, I got a call there when I was in Sainsbury's and Ruth says, no, from Janice, I got a call from Janice and Janice said to me, where are you? I said, so I'm in Sainsbury's just getting uh, some flowers. She goes, you left your dog outside. <laughs> it's like, no, I actually have no recollection of letting Lily out. She must have gone out when, um, oh God, it's crazy here. She must have gone out when I was taking something out. I actually do not remember letting Lily out. That is terrible. Oh my goodness. So then I got a call from Ruth and she says to me, I'm running around now with George's swimming stuff. I says to her, I says, I'm not in. I says to her, but just leave it with Janice. But I'm, I'm going home now. I can't believe I left Lily outside. I can't even remember. I, can't, I actually cannot remember letting her out. That's weird. That is so weird. That's annoying me. Did I even put anything out in the bin? Because normally she sometimes runs out. Oh god, and of course it's going to be busy here, isn't it? Okay, I just remembered I did go out to the bin. I went out to the bin twice and she must have run out. She must have come out behind me. I just, thank goodness, I've just remembered that's what it is. I was throwing some, uh, I had some flour in this one. I thought I had flour and I didn't have flour because I checked the dates on the flour that I had. I had two packets of wholemeal flour and I checked the date on them and they were out of date. So, um, I went out to the bin and put them out and that's, that's what she's done. She's run out behind me and I didn't see her. That makes me feel better. Honestly, it was driving me crazy that I couldn't think how Lily got out and I, because I got in such a panic that I couldn't think when did I go out but I remembered I went out and threw flour out, which is why I'm dashing about trying to get flour now. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm such a crazy woman. <laughs> right, 
We have madam. Don't we madam? We have your back. Sneaking out. See that's what happens when you sneak out behind me. The weird thing is I always check to see where she was but because I rushed out I hadn't checked. You're not getting out that's for sure. She's quite happy to go in with Janice by the way. She sees it as her second home. She seriously does. Right. Let's get this. See if I can get this done before we go. Where did I put the flour? We're not making bread today because I got the wrong bread. I can't, I, 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 it's, uh, right, bread's not happening today. Okay, we are home. I can't even remember where I left you, but first thing I do when I come home, <laughs> apart from turn on the camera, <laughs> is I need to wash my hands. People need to wash my hands. So that's the gym workouts finished. I have been, I've done my sweat class in the winning team again. What else would we expect from me? And I went to Sainsbury's and I changed the flour. Here. So what I'm going to do now, oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to have time to have my porridge. It's now 20 past two and I have to pick up Georgie at three. Oh, I haven't even started the bread, people. Right, let's see what we can get done. I'm going to eat. I'm gonna, I don't want to wait any longer for my fasting, so I'm going to get my porridge on. Still got, I mean, everything's a mess. Everything is just a mess. So I'm just going to get... While the porridge is on, I'm gonna weigh out my flour and get, and get that mixed in. I don't think I'm gonna have time for this. Then hopefully it rises whilst, um, come on baby, come follow me. It rises whilst I'm eating my Whilst I'm away with Georgie, oh my goodness, and Nico warned me, he says to me, you need to be out of the kitchen because he knew I was going to make bread and all of this stuff. He says to me, that cinnamon that's going in, I have lots of cinnamon. And a little sprinkling of salt. And, um, oh, my Instagram's going crazy. Um, ding, ding, can you hear it dinging? It's because I've just posted a reel from the gym. Um... <laughs> What was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Like I said, it's one of those crazy, crazy, crazy days. And we know what's going to happen. The porridge is probably going to spill over as well. Right, that's the porridge on. You stay there. Let's get the flour that I bought. Where is it? There we go. So I got wholemeal flour. I got, I jumped into B&M. Because it's where Sainsbury's is. Not B and M, the other one, not B and M. What's the other one called? People, what's the other one called? Home bargain. And they had them for a pound. Remember, I was warning they were dear the last time I got to put them up. I got a light brown root a touch up. Cause we know what's happened here. And also I picked the barkeeper's friend motor service cleaner, which I keep telling you all you need in your life for everything and anything. Right, stop talking. Get your flour, weigh out okay, 500, oh, torn it out terribly, people, torn it terribly, I'm making a mess of everything, turn it on, right, luckily when I exchange it, the woman says to me, oh yeah, I remember you, not a problem. There's no problem exchanging the flour. 300 grams. Let's go. Think you, just me, how, how many bread, how many loaves do you make out of that? I, says, I don't know. I have no idea. My sister, but I know. Come on. That's us. Okay. And check the porridge. I'll do the porridge, people. I normally put it in for. I'm here. I normally put it in for two minutes and thirty seconds, but it, of course it depends on how much water you've put in there. Right, let that just kind of soak in. Let's get the flour in there. One sachet of yeast. Let's get 
want in there. So I'm just gonna leave it in that bowl. Oh. One sachet of yeast. I'm gonna to start mixing this anyway, and then I'm just gonna add a sprinkling of salt. You need between two and three tablespoons of. I use olive oil, you can use butter, I always use olive oil, that's that. So now I'm going to add about 320 ml of lukewarm water. And then I'm just going to add um, the, like, what's this called, we call it mastica. I don't know what it's called, it's like a gum thing. I'm going to add that for flavour. Uh, some mach machlebi herbs, it's a herb and spice, it's just things we add in bread, just for flavour. Okay, so I'm going to crush them down, add it to the, to the bread, and that's it people, and I'm going to add my seeds as well, and that's it. Okay, I have finally, finally put my bread together, so I mixed it and all that and then put it to the side to rise. I had quickly eaten my porridge. By the way, it is now half past seven. I'm telling you this. So I can't remember the last time I spoke to you, but I think it was before I went to get Georgie. So, I've got some lush, I've got some lush bombs sitting here and they smell absolutely delicious. Right, so I picked up Georgie from school. We came home. She didn't want to go swimming. It was a big story in itself. She wanted to go home. She didn't want to be here. Um, that lasted for a wee while. I ended up bribing her with some Pokemon cards. So I said, so I would go and buy her some Pokemon cards if she would go swimming. It was, I hate bribery people, but <laughs> it's different when you're a yeah, yeah. You know, it's different. So, we did that and I calmed her down and we went and she went swimming and she loved it and she enjoyed it and all of that and we left swimming no we had a, a carry on at the swimming baths as well because I kind of threw our jackets into one of the changing rooms um until I finished showering her and I just threw the jackets in and went back the jackets were gone <laughs> do you know I just I, I went I'm not even surprised because it's just one of those days today. Hi Lily! Lily's coming. It's just one of those days today. I, honestly, I'm absolutely exhausted. She is, by the way. It's Thursday. So, we, we found the jackets. They were found. I spoke to one of the lifeguards. He went and he found them. And um, we went to B&M. We got the Pokemon cards. Thank goodness they had some got a small packet by this just the, you know the smallest packet they are, are now 3 99 for the pokemon cards put them all in a book she sat with the ipad i made her a wee snack i brushed her hair she was happy for me to brush her hair we did her nails and all of that because now just making our salmon i'm gonna have salmon and i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna enjoy one of these lush bombs i'm gonna i think it's this one i think this is the one for relaxing muscles Mm, it smells absolutely like mm. So, I have a friend, so my friend Gavin, I think I've spoken about a couple of times on the vlogs, and I'm always talking about him on Instagram. Um, he works for Lush. So I have two Lush bombs. He says to me to choose, and I couldn't choose. I says, just you choose me too. So that's the magnesium one, and this is the, I can't remember what it's called. But it chose well because when I was looking at them, these are the two. Oh, it smells delicious. That really smells lovely. Oh, oh look, this one's got petals in it. Look. Here we go. 
So, I don't know which one to use. <laughs> I will eventually show you my bread. It's just having its second rising at the moment because the bread, you let it rise, you knead it and you let it rise again. So it's having its second rising before I put it in the oven. <laughs> it's been one of those days. One of those, hasn't it Lily? Be one of those days when you decided to take yourself to in the garden and not tell mummy. Tomorrow's hair day. It's okay, tomorrow we're gonna be all glammed up, do a couple of classes in the morning. And my nail teaks has arrived. The bag hasn't arrived yet, so hopefully the bag arrives tomorrow and I can film that as well. Let's have a look. No, no updates. Okay, here's the bread. How amazing does that look? Looks good people. Okay, Rico and I have just tasted this and this is like the best bread we have ever tasted in our entire lives. All the things, the added things that I was putting in it, oh, wow, 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 wow.